Hey guys, it's on Cork with Kate. I'm at Epcot today visiting the International Flower and Garden Festival to check out some of their different options rather than just wine. I'll let you know what I think. So the first stop is in Mexico. It is Jardin de Fiestas and they have a rosé sangria that includes tequila. So I don't know, it might be something interesting. I'm going to give it a try. I'll let you know what I think. Hey guys, it's Uncork with Kate here. I'm here with my friend PG. We just left Jardim de Fiestas, which sounds like a great place to hang out. We both got the Rosé Sangria, so we're gonna try it for you and let you know what we think. Ready? Ready. Cheers. Cheers. I'm gonna tell you right now that it's not Kate's choice because nope. it's nope. too sweet for Kate. It's not, it's like even like, it has like, I think maybe the elderflower has an interesting flavor that it added to it. It doesn't taste like wine. It doesn't taste like sangria. It um, there's a it tastes like a mixed drink. That's what it tastes like to me. And maybe the tequila added to it. To me, there's something um, it, like if it was a strawberry puree. There's some sort of really yeah. like heavier, yes. sugary fruitiness to I'll it. I'll still taste it again. Hang on, um. let's try it again. Yep. The tequila on the end. So I wouldn't order this again. But it's it's not terrible. It's just not my favorite thing today. And I'm really enjoying this. But if you like a traditional traditional sangria, yeah, it's definitely not a traditional not. sangria. This definitely for tastes sure. more like a mixed drink. Yes, and maybe if it had fruit in it, like actual chunks of fruit, that yeah. might make it a little bit more interesting as well. Well, a picture so, of this with some like salsa and chips would go down very that's smoothly. That's actually true. If I yes. had salsa and chips, that probably would make it taste even better. Yeah. Okay, I'll have to try that. Excellent. Okay. See you later. See ya. cider flight we are about to try. We've got three different ciders from three different areas. The first one's from New York. Shout out to my hometown, New York. Original Sin Brewery Black Widow Hard Cider. That's that one. Then Florida Beer Company Caribe Strawberry Rosé Hard Cider from Cape Canaveral. There you go. PG is very much looking forward to trying that pink drink right there. And then finally, Three Daughters Brewing from uh, St. Pete. That is my other hometown for years and years living in Florida. It's my local favorite. And that is the Key Lime Apple Hard Cider right there. So we're gonna try two separate ciders. I am going to try the key lime because that's the one I'm least looking forward to. I think it might be a little too tart, but PG really wants to try the strawberry rosé hard cider. So we're both gonna try two different ones and then we'll kind of trade and we'll also try the third one as well. Okay, so I've got key lime, you've got strawberry rosé. That was good. Oh, that's nice. Mm. Crisp to start with a sweet finish. That so, I expected to be super sweet, and it wasn't. It wasn't even super tart. You think with with it's not. It's beautiful. Okay. I think you're gonna really like this. Okay, I'm gonna try the black. You're gonna cherry. Yes. Okay. The, no. Okay. Is it black cherry? I don't think it's black cherry. It is black widow, which is kind of scary, right? Black widow. Black widow hard cider from original and, sin brewery. Yes. Which means points well, yes. the name. I yes. Mean, that's Absolutely. Just, yeah. Right there, and okay. it's beautiful. Look at that beautiful color. That's my that's my color. That's cranberry. That, that's my that's my jam. That, so. <laughs> that is your color. So okay. you're gonna try the key lime that I just tried, that and I'm really gonna try liked. this one. Okay, you ready? It smelled a lot sweeter than it is. It's good. It's dry. It's tart, but not too tart. What do you think of the key lime? I like it. Good. Good. Yeah. So so far we really yeah, three for no, three. This is um, four for four. I don't know how I don't know how to count right now. No, yeah, this is again a very like okay. it's not overpowering. Exactly, yeah. I I expected it to be overpowering it's key not. lime, and it no. was not. It definitely was not. So I'm gonna try the strawberry rosé, and you're gonna go for the original sin, right? Yes. Okay. Ready? The sweetest of the three is the strawberry for sure, um, but not too sweet. Not too sweet at all. I don't know. I don't know which one's my favorite. I liked all three of them. I thought I would like this more than I do. I, it's drier than I expected it to be. And when, it, when you smell it, as it you're, the nose is, is sweet. Very sweet. Very but sweet, it's dry. But it's, yeah. 
it, it's misleading to me and it's agreed agreed um, absolutely so. but I'll drink it I'll take that one no no problem and I think you probably like the strawberry rosé more than I did even though I liked it but I think right. you probably liked it more I, I, and then we'll just have to fight over the key lime I'm sure that some other person at Disney would be happy to take this one off our hands. No, no, no. I'll, okay. drink, I'll drink that one. Absolutely. I liked it. I okay. liked it for sure. It's just, yeah. I mean, if, it just if there was nothing else in my freezer I would, or fridge, I think it would actually really cold. Yes. Like really, yeah. really cold. And it is pretty hot out today, too, so it kind of yeah. adds but, to it. Yeah, it, it, but it's, I mean, no, it's not my favorite. But, but that's, again. That's the beauty of Uncork with Kate. Sometimes you're surprised. Yeah. So we're here at the Smokehouse Barbecue and Brews. Instead of a brew, I went with a wine, of course, as we like to work with eight. This is a Zinfandel from Lodi, California. It's called Bone Shaker. And then I have the pulled pig slider with coleslaw in it with some sweet barbecue sauce. In it. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to taste my Lodi. Ooh, it smells really good. I love the smell of Zinfandel. It smells so fruity, almost sweet, but we know it's not because Zinfandels are never sweet. Unless it's a white Zinfandel, but that's really different. Dry, wow. Mm. Tannins and suck the water right out of your mouth. This is good. Mm. And this is going to be extremely messy, but I have a feeling that that Zinfandel is going to taste really good with this. Super messy. I'm going to take a small bite because of that old pork slider. That's a little spicier than I usually like my food, but it goes really well with the Zinfandel. Very well together. Perfect. Hey, so we're in France now and we have the Fleur de Lis. Rosé, slushy, and yummy. And we are online oh, to meet Belle. Hey, it's Uncork with Kate, and I am here with Belle. Hi, Hi Belle. Belle. Everyone. Thanks Hi, so much dear. for hanging out with me today. <laughs> okay, heading out after a full day here at the park, um, enjoying Flower and Garden Festival. And I wish I had better news for you, but there wasn't anything that blew me away here. There was nothing that you absolutely have to try that was spectacular. Um, all the wines we tried were wonderful. They were great. They were, oh, look at the Monterey in the background. Um, but they weren't fantastic that I want to tell you, go out and buy this right now. So it was still a great trip, and any day at Disney is better than a day at work.